did you know that there are two uh, major versions of uh, Couchbase? There is the Community Edition and there is also the Enterprise Edition. It is very important uh, to know to choose the right database for your project but assuming you are thinking of choosing Couchbase I think you should really be aware of the differences between the community and the enterprise edition and uh, here I'm going to take like the top seven uh, differences which in my mind are important to know of the differences between the community and the enterprise the community is free its license means you can use it free and the enterprise will cost you a uh, money so let's scan the differences between the two editions of Couchbase, the community and the enterprise. So before you choose a database to use either for your personal hobby project, for your organization or for a new uh, startup, it is important to take some key metrics like whether it's a document store, a graph store, a key value store, you have SQL, you don't have SQL, you can scale it, you cannot scale it, whether it's free or not, and many other uh, metrics. Uh, here we are going to assume that you want to use a, or considering to use a Couchbase and uh, then we are going to scan the key differences in manner of community versus enterprise. We are going to start by the conceptual differences meaning if you think of a feature you, you would be able to tell with very high accuracy whether it belongs to the community or enterprise without uh, looking at the documentation then we're going to pick a few the top I think the top uh, metrics to compare between the two editions and I want to tell you that I don't really care about uh, support I'm assuming you're going to manage the database or have a person to manage it support I take it as a different issue here we are going to concentrate on features and features only and then I'm going to tell you of a very cool link I got from a friend to consider alternatives and in general to help you choose the correct uh, database for your uh, problem. So the concept difference is that the community is targeted to, uh, at least in my mind, targeted to small projects and the enterprise is targeted to large projects. By small project I include a side project if you don't want a high security and if you do want you will need even in the community edition to add some of your personal expertise uh, to add uh, uh, to add some security layers and and um, for example if you want a cross uh, site uh, a replication then you want encryption of it then you should uh, be aware of it we'll discuss it in the enterprise in general you think about multiple users you think you have customers you think you have scale you want to scale the the, the catch base uh, database uh, well you want to have a uh, security, you want to have uh, different roles so this is the thing, I will, will use the community conceptually if I just need to install some local uh, database or uh, install it or on uh, production servers but I just do the installations, I use my database and that's it but if I have multiple administrators and I want a uh, role based uh, login and I want a, an excellent performance and I have multiple customers then in this case you should think that the features you would need in this case you would either need to work hard to develop them or you would simply buy the enterprise uh, edition so let's start so the first thing is that uh, The Enterprise Edition ships with frequent releases with quality improvements. This is from their documentation. The Community Edition is behind. So if you have the Community Edition, think that you are using a release which is half a year uh, ago. It does not have the latest patches. So of course for a production grade installation, you want to be able to have the latest uh, patches and uh, uh, edition and uh, of course the latest uh, stable 
but you can use the community but know that you are lagging uh, behind does not have uh, the latest uh, updates and lagging even a uh, half year ago if it's important to you you should really reconsider either the enterprise or a different uh, database uh, I'm not inclined to say you should get uh, the enterprise I think you should get the right database and in this case you should either pay or find yourself a different uh, database which you, you should not uh, pay for so the next uh, thing is that um, in the in the community edition all the servers are a uh, homogeneous what uh, does that uh, mean database has uh, have multiple units you have the nickel you have the indexing you have the query parsing you have all the units which are managed and if you want a uh, good scalability then of course that you want different parts on different servers because if you have a heavy indexing uh, process which blocks you then a query will not work because they might both be on the same server so if you are uh, looking for a high performance and a high scaling you want to scale multiple units separately on different uh, servers because this is the way the database uh, works uh, there, are data, there are other da da databases which are more homogeneous by nature and by installation but here if you want it to really uh, scale then maybe you want to split the servers uh, this is not provided in the community this is provided only in the enterprise edition meaning only in the enterprise edition you can scale your different uh, units uh, separately A max parallelism so you have a four core limit what does uh, that uh, actually uh, means a four core or four parallelism uh, limit the, the, the database so the, the documentation is not so clear on that so I'm going to tell you exactly what it's saying and uh, <laughs> and maybe it's for a reason maybe not but you can uh, understand from it that you have uh, the, the basic notion is that you have a limit on the parallelism you have on the database so the documentation says the community edition can only be deployed in a homogeneous uh, deploy model we discussed it in the previous uh, item and it also said that it comes with a limited concurrency the community edition comes with a limited concurrency and parallelism max parallelism can be four on each node so you can take it um, uh, in uh, multiple explanations uh, I think uh, what this uh, means is that if I install um, <coughs> the community edition on a node then it can utilize only a max of four uh, parallelism so if I have parallelism uh, much higher on the machine itself it won't utilize it so it's limited it's like someone put a bar on it and told the community edition no you will not be uh, faster than uh, that so this is also a very high and very important key difference uh, another important difference is you, if you use the internal mechanism for a uh, backup and uh, restore uh, you can either use it or develop something of your own but this is a common theme among those differences if you want to use the internal mechanism and of course this is what you're getting a database for to use it so if you want to use the internal uh, mechanism you cannot use it uh, as a cumulative and incremental backup and restore in the community edition <coughs> with a large database it is important of course to perform uh, backups and restores and it is even more important that they will be efficient because who knows how much data you have so of course if it's a personal project and you have only a very small set of uh, data then you can do this uh, backup and restore with its internal mechanism but uh, if you want the incremental backup and restore feature then sorry you will not have it in the community edition uh, only a enterprise edition for you 
Another uh, important difference is that uh, imagine that you log in and use the admin, the database. So if you're again a single developer on a side project and you don't really care, you're the only one that logins to the database. This matches both security um, security uh, metrics and uh, multiple users metrics. So we are here reduced to like a single user uh, metric and uh, less uh, security because you cannot uh, make uh, access uh, control uh, different access control meaning that different users will be able to do different things with the, the database and you know in usually if you live in an organization that you already have some kind of uh, authentication and authorization uh, using LDAP uh, database and if you wanted to integrate that with Couchbase to have the same a username and passwords for people to log in then you cannot do that in the community edition and then we come to many other features there are like 30 or 40 uh, features like this which we could compare but these are I think at least the top ones uh, so when you do some uh, query e uh, editing and it has very nice SQL like uh, syntax then it will not uh, auto uh, complete for you so uh, I think this would be uh, very important if you are doing uh, many queries mm, you could uh, skip that one on the community edition but uh, it's very nice to have and uh, it would be a um, little bit um, somewhat disappointing to know that you could do uh, autocomplete uh, editing and you cannot do, do that because you have chosen the community uh, edition. So these are the main differences. Couchbase is an uh, excellent uh, database. Um, I use it in a few projects. Um, however, today there are many, many other uh, databases. So when you choose I think that the main thing in this presentation I wanted to tell you is that if you choose a Couchbase as your database then please be aware that there are features you need to pay for in order to get the full uh, database and if you thought that it's a free database then it's a free but a limited uh, edition okay there are limits on the max parallelism you can use there are limits on the role base authentication there are um, limits on the way you can install the database there are like I think pretty heavy uh, lifting uh, limits so you should be aware of it so at this point what you could uh, do is uh, use an excellent uh, link which is called the uh, excellent website which I was referred by a friend which is a um, uh, comparing all the DB engines so it looks like the uh, stock market basically you have a table think of every database like a uh, stock and then you have the you know the up green arrow and the down green arrow you have plus uh, let's say we look at uh, the table we have um, elastic search uh, we have minus 0 0.82 uh, percent which means like it's a uh, popularity and uh, increase uh, in the November, decrease in uh, October, and you can see all the uh, databases based on uh, both uh, popularity and features. And when you click them, you see a nice graph like Google Trends of the database. This gives you a, an excellent view. Also, you can filter by relational databases, by uh, document stores, by what column stores, key value stores, search engines. And uh, this is really a great way to compare and find your uh, database. So in summary, if you want to stick to a free DB and you expect to have customers, then think three times before choosing a community edition or the enterprise one of uh, Couchbase. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. Uh, please subscribe. Please remember that you can also listen to it as a podcast. You don't have to uh, look at it. And I will see you uh, next time.